Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at a Unify security uh, device. That's this guy right here, and how to configure it with the uh, 3CX phone system. Now we we recommend 3CX phone system. It's it's one of the most easy to use and manage phone system, and it can be deployed both on Windows, so you get to use all your Windows management tools, or on Linux. And that's one of the things that differentiates a 3CX. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how do we set up a Unify firewall uh, for use with the 3CX phone system. So we're going to have a look at the port configurations that are needed. Now, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got some great videos there about the Unify gateway, about point-to-point -point antennas and access points and a whole other bunch of other things, including a wide range of phone system uh, type videos. So please uh, check us out, youtube.com slash Helia Canada and subscribe so as we get new ones they show up also uh, check out our online store you can find this device by phonesonline.ca now most of the pricing up there is MSRP but if you create an account and log in there's some really terrific pricing uh, on there and uh, we're able to help you out with with that equipment so check us out and without further ado let's jump and see what this is all about Okay, so here we have the device. Um, you can see here I have my uh, laptop plugged into the LAN and into the WAN I have plugged in uh, my internet connection. So we've uh, turned this on uh, and next we need to find out where this, uh, this router is. So my the default gateway is going to be, or sorry, not the default gateway, the default IP of this device is 192.168.1.1. But you can always confirm this by going uh, Control R uh, and uh, opening up a command prompt and going IP config. Now, what this does is it has a look at the DHCP information that's come down, presumably from the router. So my laptop has uh, retrieved DHCP information. DHCP is typically on the router, and you can see here that the default gateway is 192.168.1.1, and that happens to be, in almost all cases, that's going to be your router as well. And so uh, IP4 address 192.168.1.6, that's my current address. And so I can take this information here, put it in, uh, my web browser and, and then what it's going to do is uh, okay so it says connection not private fine this is Chrome uh, and so it says proceed unsafe that's fine this is my Unify security device you can see here most almost all of the configuration here is done through the Unify controller that's the same software used for Unify access points so uh, there is some basic configuration uh, information I do recommend that you change from the default WAN or uh, LAN address here of 19 2168.1.1 because it helps for some troubleshooting uh, down in the future. Uh, if somebody else plugs in another router, then they don't know what they're doing. Chances are that is also going to be 192.168.1.1. It makes troubleshooting a lot easier if your default network address is, is different. But that's that's for another uh, another video. Um, now you can't if you don't have the software already installed you can download it. Uh, here we have the Unified Controller 5.10.19 now that's at the time of this video of course it's probably a newer version by the time you watch that but you download that and then once you've downloaded it uh, in my case I do have it installed and I do have it installed on this computer uh, so it's a Java applet of course it runs a web server and other things and I'm going to launch my browser to uh, log into this so if you already have the Unify software installed or a cloud key or what have you that's where you want to log into now uh, where you want to go is for the Unify access point symbol here, the two circles. We're going to click on devices, and you can see uh, I have this device, and it needs to be uh, adopted. So we're going to click on that and adopt. Now this is going to take a moment, so we're going to pause uh, the video and then continue on from there. Okay, so we're adopted now. You can see it says connected, so we want to go down to the gear. 
uh, for settings and then we're going to go up to the router uh, routing and firewall here so we need to add for configuring this with a, uh, a phone system we need to add some port forwarding rules so that's this tab up here uh, we're going to create a handful of new tools so this is uh, 3cx uh, phone system, so we're going to 3CX PBX, and the first one is for your web interface. So this is the HTTP port, HTTPS port. Uh, it's going to be port 5001. Now it, it could also be 443, but uh, we by default it's 5001. Now you need to put the forward IP address in here. I like to put uh, the phone system on dot 10, but you need to figure out within your system uh, where your 3CX uh, which IP it's on and then of course the port is 5001 again uh, and this is just TCP okay so next one is let's go with 3CX HTTPS uh, uh, sorry SIP 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 which is port 5060 and again same ip address of i'm going to put this on my clipboard because we're going to be using that a lot and this is both tcp and udp uh secure sip so that's sips and this is just tcp this is port uh 5061 with 3cx and 5061 and this is just tcp and save uh, we want to use a udp and this is for the 3cx soft phone application uh, and so this is ports uh, 50 th this is actually not specifically for the soft phone but for the tunnel uh, that you can create with 3CX and it's one of the best features of 3CX uh, in that it simplifies the configuration firewalls and makes uh, the software work a lot lot better okay so 5090 and this one is both TCP and UDP as well okay next we need to have the RTP points ports now this is the real-time audio uh, so we have a port range and this is from 9000 to 10999 again same IP address and starting at 9000 now they do have this update port forward and you can just simply click on that and it's going to copy it over this is a UDP port as well and save I just want to make sure I, I, I have all the ports here uh, 50 60 50 I don't see my oh this is wrong here it's not 50 60 this is 50 61 okay 5000 RTP so that's uh, that about does it so that was the Unify uh, Security Device Pro and the configuration with a 3CX phone system. You can find out more great videos on how to configure 3CX and how to configure the Unify devices for use with phone systems on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. And please subscribe so as we add more videos, you'll get a notification of those. Now, also, you can find this device, 3CX, VoIP phones, a whole load of commercial equipment uh, that we recommend and we use every day on our online store and that's at buyphonesonline.ca uh, and please create an account there's special pricing uh, when you have logged in with uh, with an account uh, that's not there for um, uh, for anonymous non-logged in users so definitely do that uh, I'm Darzuk with the Helia Technology Report thanks for watching mm -hmm.